not be able to test these as I don't even have a DVD. I actually have to make one or play one. I don't know. Uh, so this is more of a show of the item. I'm thinking of using it uh, for something. I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for, but... Um, I'll try to scan this and have it all at the end. Let's open it up and see how they look. I remember son, it would take two of us to carry a DVD player back in the day. Just one. <laughs> um, they were huge. They were the size of uh, TVs. You know, they were just, now it's uh, amazing. The two of them are in this small box. Right, so this should be all the stuff that comes with it. Again, I'm sorry I can't test it. I don't have a player, and anyway, I can't play movies because then, um, you know, so take down the video and all that other stuff. So, more of a look at. I'll turn them on, see what happens. As a matter of fact, I'll just, uh, they both are the same, so I'll just open one. But two of them come in the box. And uh, this has a cover here, so let's take that off. Source setup. Oh, so. Um, so it probably could receive a signal. That's a pretty cool idea. You can make it like a tablet, put an Apple TV on it. And the on and off buttons right there. The headsets, audio, video, in and out. It would have been great if it had an HDMI connection. I don't think it has. But I'll check on the adapters that come in the bag. And this is flat. It opens up. That's why this hinges here. Uh, these are little legs. I guess to stand it up with the stand here. So it stands like that if you want. And, uh, Looks like you could put a loop around it. Maybe to, I don't know. I'll have the instructions in the back so you get more details on the item. Let me measure it. Nothing on the top. Oh, take that back. What is that? Oh, that's to actually open it from its clamshell closed. So let's do. quarters from left to right top to bottom about five inches the thickness closed and about one and a quarter and that's the thickest point so about one and a 
one and a half. One and a half visually it looks like. So let's open it up. Okay. Oh, okay, so there's no cover. It's supposed to be closed, so you put the DVD on here. Uh, let me see what this says. And that's the inside. Oh, that's as far as it opens. So. Okay. Yeah, I can't open anymore. I think I'm out of break. Yeah. Can't open anymore. So what's the widest it'll open? Yeah, about five inches. I mean, I thought I was gonna try out a DVD, but I don't even have one. But I'll turn it on. Close. And let's see, at, let's look at the accessories. Okay, so let's look at the accessories. Come in the back. Oh, oh, oh. Got a card that oh no. has a back. So it's just a carry in the back. Oh. And a bag that should fit the player. Okay, it has a bag that fits the player. Uh, has a nut. Oh, this is for both, to carry both. So I'm assuming there's only one bag in there, yep. So that's to, to house and carry both, I guess. So let's pull everything out. Nothing else in the box. Two remote controls. Headrest mount. Cool. Okay, this would be at the end. Uh, let me just lay everything out and show you what comes. So this is the headrest mount to mount the DVD player. Like, let me lay everything out and show you what comes with it. I unwrapped everything. This is everything that comes inside the box. To here, it comes with only one breakout cable. So now I gotta get my own. It comes with a cigarette lighter plug to plug both of them in. Um, one aux or audio cable, 3.5 with stereo. And headphone, so there's three lines. To my understanding, with these cables, one is mono, two is stereo, and three is with the mic. I don't think this has a mic. The two power supplies and one breakout cable. And this is the power supply that comes with it. Now, the one for the car comes with two plugs, so you can run both of them, uh, two ends. Okay. 
Okay. Let me get a close up of the power supply. If you lose this, so that you can get a new one, and you can get all the details on it. I can't scan this. So I usually just do a close up video on it, so you'll have it. Okay, they both should be ex identical, which they are. Okay. And that's everything that comes with it. So let me plug in the power cable just to turn it on. But um, again, uh, I have no way of testing this. So I'm just gonna make sure it powers on, but it should work, I mean. How hard is it to make a DVD? And it's made by Insignia. I love Insignia. Okay. And the power cable, just in case you're interested. Fifty-nine inches, almost five feet long. That's the one for the home. That's the home plug. Let me get a outlet. Okay, let me plug it in. Volume and reverse, source and forward, source setup, play, stop. Uh, and two speakers. Which are tiny. Okay, and how do you turn, oh, turn it on back here, that's right. Hey, it's coming on, DVD and signal loading. Of course, it's nothing to load. It's nice looking, I like it. I got no complaints. Put it on the stand and it'll be right here. I wish it had an HDMI connection. That would be great. That would actually be pretty perfect. So let me have the computer read the specs to you so you get all the detailed specs on it. Plus the paperwork could be at the end. Let me just do a quick um, measurement on the actual power supply for... the power for the car so that you'll have a better idea. The adapter, let me give you a close-up of the adapter for the car. And the adapter, there's two, sep two cables that break out of the adapter itself. So let's measure from the tip here all the way over so you get an idea of how far back you can go. If you have a van or a long vehicle with three rows or something. So uh, it's about five feet, four inches. No. And uh, again, this is the info on it. One of the remote controls, they're both the same.
this is to pull it out. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it, so I'm gonna wait. I, I'm teeter tottering, but I think I might keep it. Okay, and this is the audio cable. Let me measure that since I've measured everything else. The audio jack. I guess to plug it into your aux port in the car or to uh, external speakers. Five feet. The actual breakout cable. It's not gonna be that long at all. That is going to be 10 inches. Okay, let me read you the descriptions of the actual player. Over few description add entertainment features to your car's back seat with this two pack of Insignia portable DVD players. The 10 inch units each have a disc input and an LCD display and they can be used independently or for mirrored video playback. Power these headrest mountable Insignia portable DVD players with your vehicle charger or home outlet. Features playback formats include DVD, DVD plus RRW, CD and JPEG, so you can enjoy your favorite media on the go. Each DVD player accepts one disc dual 10 inches screens that you share a DVD or watch two different DVDs simultaneously. Two mounting straps allow you to attach the DVD players to your vehicle's headrests, Outputs include one AV and one headphone output on each DVD player. What's included Insignia TM 10 inches dual screen portable DVD player, two remotes, car power adapter, AV connecting cable, 3.5 millimeters to RCA adapter, two car headrest mounts, travel storage case owner's manual. Key specs, number of screens, two power source, plug in number of headphone jacks, two general product name, 10 inches dual screen portable DVD player, brand Insignia TM number of USB ports. Info zero number of auxiliary input zero model number NS DD 10P DVD 19 color black color category black dimension product height 7.2 inches product width 9.8 inches product depth 1.5 inches product weight 1.8 pounds feature integrated speakers yes outputs composite video mount type headrest power battery size info NA display screen size info 10 inches included remote control included yes warranty manufacturer's warranty Parts one year manufacturer's warranty. Labor one year other UPC 600, 1,603,237,867. Okay, let's see if we can. That's the description of the item. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helps. I'm sure the product works. So I'm not even gonna, like I said, I don't even have a DVD player, so I'm sorry about that. It's more of a look at. I expect it to work, and Best Buy has a great return policy anyway, so, you know, I don't wor really worry about that. So I hope the video helps. I hope you liked it. Thank you.